Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. I think fun. the only way to get this thing squared up really is to uh, put it between centers. So we will do that. Bring our little center meister in. All right, let's go with the lathe dog and see if we can uh, see if it'll fit. Oh yeah, it's going to do just fine. Put it right out there on the end. Okay. Uh, put a some kind of measuring device on it. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so. Let's um, figure out what our next move is. We want a quarter inch here. So that'll be okay. And then our next size down is one, two, four, zero. Okay, well, I'm down to size, but I can't get in over here because the bit's hitting. So I cut this part first, got it to size, and now I'm going to rotate the bit and cut the second part because it doesn't matter as much. Because the rest of it is threads, and you know, hey, threads are threads. They don't need a shoulder. They don't need a shoulder to cry on. Probably will do okay. No, it's not going to even come close to doing okay. Let's get it in a little closer. That's good. Okay, so uh, it turns out that uh, our shoulder is at 1 400 which is way out there. That's not good. I don't like that at all. So I think what we're going to do is come in and take half of the um, half of this this little uh, larger diameter down. Even then it's going to be a problem. But we'll do that so far. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, we haven't quite gotten to 750, but we're going to get there. And uh, I need to put another bit in because this one's kissing the, the center. So uh, we're going to do all that tomorrow because the rest of the day I'm out of here. All right, well, it's three or four days later, and um, this thing's been sitting here that whole time. Uh, of course, we haven't needed the lathes, which is uh, a good thing. Um, and I've been trying to think, well, what can I do? Well, the, the uh, mandrel needs to be to here, but if I cut it back, oh, let's say three-eighths of an inch, and then put the threads in there and that way there's room for the threads because right now there's no room because of that shoulder uh, cut it back three eighths of an inch put the threads in square up the shoulder again then come in and um, and make a washer that's got a little uh, shoulder on it that fits inside of here and squeezes in on the um, on the uh, brush head so I think that's going to do it and uh, we will go ahead and move forward first we got to plug in bit isn't uh, is hitting the uh, the uh, <coughs> the center so we've got to come up with another bit and I'm thinking it might be good just to go ahead and put the uh, threading bit in. well it's not the one I'm thinking of but I believe it is one and I have a few laying around Let's see what it looks like. Not exactly. What do I do with it? All right, we'll be back. All right, I found it. Um, it was sitting right here in front of my face, of course. So we're going to come out here. Whoops, we're not going to come there, are we? First thing we got to do is get this thing up high enough. Somewhere in that general area. I like using the the scale method. See how close I am. Man, I was right on the money with that one. Okay, tighten that up. Then we're gonna then we're gonna answer that phone. All right, we still got a hundred thousandths to take off of that. And we're gonna just use the threading bit to do that. If there's anything we can do about it, though. So we're gonna just travel really slow and cut our threads from that position. And we're cutting a left hand thread so we're going to start from in here and work out.
All right, so uh, we're going to make sure that we're set up where the lathe dog is right here. And we're going to take this out and just give our threads a try. I, I don't think they're close, but I, you know, I've always gone too far. So I'm not going to go through too far this time. All right, there it is. And we'll come back soon because guess what? I got the fine thread and I didn't check it and I'm cutting a coarse thread. So we're going to go back into town and get a coarse thread nut and put that on there. One thing after another, right? Okay, we'll be back. Oh well, it's the very next day and I went into the uh, to the hardware store yesterday uh, not remembering that it was Sunday and uh, went to pick up uh, the uh, extra three-quarter left-hand threaded bowl or nut and of course they were closed so we have to leave that thing in place because we don't know if the threads are gonna be uh, cut enough or not and uh, so we're going to work on the little a then we're going to make the washer so that'll be a good thing too Okay, we got about another three thousandths. Let's just take a very fine cut here. And then trim back from there. Yeah. Well, come on. There. good. Now we're looking for 180 thousandths. That's 180. Okay, 179, but we're not splitting hairs. All right, so we've got that, we got that, and now what we want to do is drill a hole. Let's uh, knock that sharp edge off while we're thinking about it. All right, we're going to drill a little center hole. 
just get the thing going somewhat straight. Alright, so we need to go to three quarter. So first thing we can do is just kind of come in with a oddball small bit. Drill that out. And because this is a really weak lathe, we can't make too big a jumps at a time. A good lathe, but not, it hasn't got a lot of beef. And next jump up. We'll take it to just under three quarter because we want to get that hole nice and straight. So we'll go ahead and come back in and bore it. So 11 16. And let's slow this thing down a little bit. That's better. Okay, we're gonna flip you over to the other side so we can get in here and bore this out. All right, let's give this a try. See what we come up with. Ah, looking good. All right, we're 20 under 700, and we need to go to 750. I think let's hook up the uh, gear drive. Whoa, that's not the gear drive. That's better. And that should take us to about 52 or 3, which is pretty much where we want to be. 55. I can live with that. Deeper. And we got a nice clean edge. And maybe we uh, file that edge a little bit. I think it's going to be smaller, but uh, maybe we should check and see. Just about the right size. All right, so let's uh, let's smooth that edge over a little bit better.
Okay, now we basically just bring this back to about that edge right there, and that should do the trick. All right, there's our washer. Okay, making sure our dog is still in the same place, we're going to take this off and slide it in and put our washer in place. And it looks like it fits just about right. There's plenty of room for, for the nut. I like it. Now we just wait until uh, we can go into town and uh, get that nut and uh, we'll be all set. Okay, we've got two last moves to make here. One is, is I want to be able to slide a wrench in and, um, and hold this side while I tighten the nut on this side because that nut was just a little bit uh, tight. Um, it worked okay, but uh, I just needed a little bit more tweaking to get it to go where I want it to go. So we're going to bring a, a uh, looks like about a 3 8 mill bit in here. And and give us our a, let's see, we're going to do about 40,000 so I'd say Now we'll flip this whole thing over and I've already got myself squared up to this and uh, So we're going to flip this whole thing over and that way we'll be 180 off and um and we'll be able to work from there. Somewhere in that general area. Let me get my head in here. Looks good that way, but not this way. There we go. Okay. Do it again. Ah, just a couple of flaps there. Let's 
give it a try and see if we can find a wrench that's going to fit. Not that wrench. Still not big enough. Almost. I'm thinking. I want to be able to just grab a wrench, so let's take it down another 30. And that's going to get us closer. Okay, flip this back. Somewhere in that general area. Square ourselves up. There we go. Yeah, let's hit it again. We got a wrench. Now we're going to come in, in and put two uh, set screws in there and, uh, and we'll be all set. Yeah, we'll get started. Let's see, we can let's fast forward this a little bit. Not exact center, I know, but it's close enough that we can call it good enough. I'm going to re, re uh, set you here. Come in a little closer. Okay, let's take our mill bit out. Just because we can. Or at least get the tap started. And bring it down. Could be with my little dinky tap handle and finish the hole. to do the trick. Little air. Drop our... Ah, it's gonna fit beautifully. Excellent. Okay, so now let's just move over one. And we're going for a number three drill bit. Yeah. 
punch that hole. Take our V block off, pull the piece out. Let's blow it off a bit. And we have a mandrel ready for, well, wait a second. Not quite ready because we've got to uh, deburr the inside there, but uh, you know, that's not going to be too difficult. All right, well, we've already got the coarse brush hooked up on the other side. Now we just kind of come in and slide this thing in, in place. It's got a little bit of a bind to it. Maybe just a little oil will help. There it is. Let's see if we've reached. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, we're gonna just give it a little bit of help with a leather mallet. That should do the trick. There's something. Let's see how far down this one goes. Yeah, that's where it hits. So this should go just a little bit lower. And it should hit. There it is. We got two. Let's put the brush on. Put the washer in place. And the nut. You know, one thing I didn't check, because this may need to go on the other side now that I'm thinking of it. Um, we're going to give this a spin, see what it looks like. And as you can see, the, uh, the cable is not exactly kosher, but uh, we'll just put a jumper cable on it and plug it in and hope for the best. All right, put that down. Okay, we got a one inch inside here, and we'll just use a crescent wrench out here because we can't find our one inch, our other one inch, that is. And it's snug, but it's not super tight. Okay, we're still coming. That looks good. Take it down a little tighter. Nice. All right. And we have ourselves nice buffer. Or not buffer, but uh, wire wire wheel. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, now we have to do is find a home for it. Let's see, is this the right direction? Yes. Uh, find a home for it and uh, go from there. So that was kind of a fun little project. I mean, I know we still have to put the uh, the plug on it, and but other than that, it's ready to go, and I think we're going to be happy. And uh, you know, this is Nick Collier checking out. <laughs>